Hi there, Amy394. So, whoa, class today was awesome. My goodness, we talked about so many different things. And one of the things that we talked about that I didn't have time to actually go into detail about uh, was how we can make buttons that change color. And I owe you all an apology there because I was so excited about uh, talking about what that would look like um, that I started down one path and then I quickly realized that we probably weren't going to have enough time to really pull that apart and dive into it in a way that would be really useful and, um, and good for everyone in class. So I decided that I wouldn't do that and I, I just feel bad that I you know, was going to show you something and then I switched, quickly kind of changed directions on you. So I wanted to take a chance to show you how we could do that. How we could make a button uh, that's got some different colors in the background. So let's take a look at what that might look like. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new button here to my network. And we noticed earlier when we looked inside of here that when we look at this uh, table that, that we've got a background color. We looked earlier at how this is associated with some expressions here for our font color and our background color and also for our border color. And what I want to focus on is I want to focus on changing these three um, parameters right here. I want to change this so that it has a different color when it's in its on state than when it's on its off state. Okay, so how might we do that? So right now what's going on is that we're just referencing the same color, so um, that ends up giving us a, just a monochrome that comes out of this, right? If we were to add a constant dat, or excuse me, a constant top, we could look at what that means. Because if we, for example, pulled up a color here and looked at anything in the grayscale kind of arena, we can see that all three values, red, green, and blue, right, all three of those channels change uh, in relation to one another. Now, if we want to have some different uh, variation in color, then we actually need different values in those, right? Aha! Okay. So how can we take that particular idea and then apply it to what's going on here in our button? Well, we're going to use the same kind of uh, technique that we used here in class today to add some text here, and we're going to add some more columns. So to do all of that, we're going to go ahead and make this guy viewer active. Uh, and in making it viewer active, we need to add a couple of columns. We're going to right click, we're going to add one after here, we're going to add, add another after. And for a hot second, this is going to break the whole wide world, and that is totally okay. Uh, we all just have to take a deep breath and know that it's going to work out. So we're going to call this BGR for background red. BG, oops, BGG for green. BGB for blue. Okay, so far so good. Now, down here, I need to go ahead and change these expressions around a little bit. And before I do that, I'm actually just going to go ahead and take an opportunity to fill in these columns. So I'm just going to copy this value and paste it in these other two. Copy, paste, paste. Uh, copy, paste, paste. Uh, and this is just going to make sure that I can see the same kind of um, setup that we had before. Now I'm going to change my expressions here just slightly. And for background color red, instead of just looking at the background column, in this case, I want to look at the column called BGR. For green, I want to look at BGG. And for blue, you guessed it, I want to look at BGB. Okay, so far, nothing has changed. Okay, so how do we go about altering some of this? Well, I'm going to use my constant to help me figure out what are the actual values that I want inside of this. So let's say, for example, that the color I'd like when it's in its off state to be um, some kind of mellow color, maybe like this nice kind of like, uh, I don't know, maybe a dark orangey kind of color here. Why not? That seems lovely. So I want this kind of uh, burnt orange color to show up in the off state. And so I'm going to look over here and I can see the values that I want to use for this. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy these right in here for the red channel, for the green channel, and finally for the blue channel. Oops, that should just be zero. Okay, excellent. 
So if I open up my little button here, I can see that I've got this kind of orange color when it's in its off state. Rollover changes it to this gray color. The on is this light color. And then when we're back off, I go back to this kind of burnt orange color. Okay, so what if we wanted to have a few other variations in there, right? So let's imagine that in my on state, I wanted to have, whoo, it's maybe too bright green. I wanted to have this kind of forest green kind of color. So I'm going to look over here, and so I can kind of quickly see what those values pan out to. And I'm going to do the same process. I'm going to go ahead and copy those and paste them right in here into this table. All right. Now in its on state, it's green. And in its off state, it's this orange color. The reason this is not quite working up, working out is because I'm scrolling off of this thing too quickly sometimes. So it's just seeing me, uh, it's kind of locking this button um, in the rollover on position. It's a bit of a trick. OK, so what if then I want this rollover color um, to be something different altogether, right? I might want that to relate to uh, my rollover when I'm not on, right? My kind of standby. I might want that to be maybe like a slightly lighter. Ooh, that's maybe too light. Let's maybe just bring this up just a little tiny bit. Ooh, maybe like there. That's nice. I'm going to go ahead and borrow that color here for the rollover. There's one value, two values, three values. I totally messed that up. Let's fix that. <laughs> Wrong column. OK, let's do. R, then G, and then B. Great, so now I've got a different color for this rollover on. And, and then finally, I also want a different color, or that was my rollover. I want a different color for this rollover on that's maybe like a, a brighter green here. So maybe I want something, oof, that feels a little bit too bright. Hmm. Let's just turn this down a little bit. It feels like it's still uh, kind of similar to this, but a little bit brighter. So let's go ahead and borrow that. And we'll use that for the rollover on color. Now I could, instead, I could just enter these numbers manually. I just find that it's easier to go ahead and copy and paste them in here. OK, so now I've gone ahead and altered my button so that its quality is going to go ahead and change or its color quality is going to change um, just like the rest of it will. And we can see here in the kind of greater control panel scheme how that works. So that's how we can uh, think about how we're going to change our button, uh, change its color. So I don't even need that constant. That's just kind of a, a helpful tool there for me to help figure out what it is that I want here inside of this uh, color schemed key.